Happy. Happy day, friends. Look who is coming to visit us today. Elsa. Where did your glove go? Where did it go? Happy day, Elsa. Who is that? Hi, Elsa. Elsa. You want to go wear Anna's dress now? Okay, let's go. Let's go. I guess when you play dress up, you gotta wear them all. You gotta dress up. You gotta dress up. Yep, that's right. Hold your dress up so you can walk. You remembered. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Come here. Gotta get a hug from Elsa. And she specifically Ooh. asked for the hair. Did you? She ask said, for the hair? Elsa head. Elsa head. Oh. Right there. Did you see yourself in the mirror yet? Oh, you didn't look in the mirror. Yeah. You wanna see? Wow, you are so beautiful. Do you love it? What is that? What is it? Elsa. It is Elsa, huh? Do you wanna go dress as Anna now? She's so intrigued by those little pendants on the mm -hmm. thing. She's getting heavy. I know. Yeah. She's getting so big. So she, I, I asked her today if she wanted to play dress up because I know that she plays it at the neighbor sometimes. And so I asked her if she wanted to play it. She said yes. And I pulled out the Anna dress because I thought she would want to wear the Anna dress first. But she requested Elsa and the Elsa head. At least we know if we do need some last minute Halloween ideas, we have two. Elsa and Anna. And honestly, I think she would still fit in her costume from last year, which was so adorable. And now maybe you could even say, Mike Wazowski. Can you say Mike Wazowski? Or Kitty. I know you can say Kitty. I loved our costumes from last year so much. They were so cute. And we're still kind of brainstorming what we want to do for this year. I don't even know. Olaf, he's right here. I don't even know if like Halloween things are gonna Anna, happen this year. Where are you? Anna, we've got Olaf, Elsa, who's this? Yeah. Kristoff, where did Anna go? Thumbs up. Whee! Do you wanna build a snowman or ride our bikes around the halls? I think some company is overdue. I started talking to the pictures on the walls. Hang in there, Joan. Where did your hand go? Oh, there it is. Maple's coming to say hi. <laughs> so cute. She's a sweet little Anna. I think her hair is perfect for little Anna. So today, Amber is coming over. You guys might remember my friend Amber. She's gonna come over. I haven't seen her in a while, so it'll be nice to just catch up. And I think after Micah wakes up from her nap, we are gonna go up to um, a little park that we love going up to. It's up in the mountains. And it's actually where I told, no, not where I told Austin I was pregnant with Paige, but we went there right after I told him that I was pregnant with Paige. Did we really? Uh-huh. We went up there right after. That's when we took all those pictures, like throwing Mike into the air. Really? It was uh -huh. that day? It was that day. She was such a fuzz head that day. She was a fuzzy head. And was that the day that she learned to go down the slide? Yeah, I think it was. Wow. I don't know if we ever shared that. Those videos. I don't know of if her. we What's ever wrong? did. Is your foot stuck? Oh, hold on. Her dress is stuck or what? Her nail is stuck on in wow, her dress. Her well, her toenail. Oh, there. You All okay? better. Should I tie your dress like this? No, she's okay. That was like that, a, that was a rare thing. It got stuck in like a little hole or something. So yeah. No. You all done? <laughs> no more. That ruined the fun, huh? You don't want to wear your dress anymore. You want to take it off? Okay, we'll take it off. <laughs> Ruined it. So like I was saying, I don't think we ever shared the video of Micah learning how to go down the slide for the first time, so I'm gonna include that right now. All right, Micah, let's show him how you're a big girl. You ready? Come here. Come on, Micah. Come here. Come on. 
<laughs> Come on. Come on, sweetie. Yes! <laughs> I'm so proud. I'm so proud. This one's a big one. No, no bumps. You gonna do it? Come here. Come on. Come here. <laughs> Come on, Micah. Yes, yes. Come on. Whee! <laughs> Well, hello, little miss, little miss PJ. You took a three hour nap today. Maybe even three and a half hours. It was crazy long for you. But you seem like you needed it. You seem like you're in such a happy mood now. Happy, happy, happy. Maybe we can get you laughing some more. You're gonna choke yourself. Don't make yourself gag. So we've been wondering if she's teething because she keeps chewing on her fingers. I don't see anything and I couldn't feel anything the other day, but I don't know. She's like, she's not been sleeping very well at night, which is taking a toll on me. And we gave her Tylenol the other day because she was just not happy all day long. And, and we tried everything and we thought, okay, maybe something is hurting her. Maybe she's in pain. Maybe she is starting to teeth. And we gave it to her. And it seemed to help her a bit. Um, I haven't given it to her since just because I don't like to give medicine without reason. Like, I was a little hesitant to even give it to her the other day. But anyways, it helped. I just haven't given it to her since because I don't know and I still don't see any teeth coming in. But maybe you've just been tired. Maybe that's all it is. Maybe you've just been a little extra sleepy. You're growing. And maybe you just need some more sleep and getting you on a little bit better schedule. I've been pretty good about like her bedtime schedule. Every once in a while, it just doesn't work out, but I'm trying to consistently lay her down and get her to sleep by around 8.30. But nap times are really hit or miss, and I wonder if like a more consistent, I know that a more consistent nap schedule would help her and probably help me and help everybody. But it's just been hard. It's been hard to get her on a consistent nap schedule just because our day to day is just really so different, just depending on the day. But we are taking steps to try to ease our way back into a more normal routine. Um, I thrive on routine. It was actually funny. Somebody wrote me on Instagram, a viewer wrote me on Instagram the other day asking about like schedule and routine and really when I felt like we got back into like our normal routine and still I don't feel like we are. I haven't felt like that in a long time. Um, Honestly, it really hasn't felt like my normal routine since really the beginning of my pregnancy with Paige because I was so sleepy and so tired and I just couldn't do my normal thing when I was pregnant with Paige. So it's been about a year now. It's been about a year since I felt like I've been in my normal routine that really works for me. But I know it's just a phase, it's just a season, and that's what I was telling that person um, when we were just chatting on Instagram. We were just kind of talking about it, and, and I was telling them, like, you know, it's just a season. The first the first couple years, I mean, that's all I know, right? Mike is too, but the first couple years, they're hard, and there's a lot of transitions, and there's a lot of, a lot of like, flexibility that and grace that you need to allow yourself. So that's kind of what I've been <laughs> telling myself. It was a good reminder them asking me and me talking about it with them, it was a good reminder to myself that this is just a phase. This is not a permanent thing. I will not always be waking up multiple times during the night to feed my baby and hopefully that's gonna end sooner than later. Um, I do have her four month appointment coming up soon and I am hoping that I get the clear from the doctor that yeah, she's gaining enough weight. She's good to 
you know, you can cut her off at night if you want to. <laughs> and that's what I did with Micah and it was an absolute game changer for me. I'm the type of person that absolutely needs sleep. I need my sleep, I need quality sleep, I need enough sleep, or I really just don't function and it really takes a toll on my mental health. So that's something that I'm really looking forward to. And I think in order to make that work really well, we have to make sure that you're getting good naps. Good nap times, good eating during the day, and then I think the transition will be a lot better. Boom, boom, boom. A boom, boom, boom. Boo. <laughs> you big cheesy grin. You silly. Let's show everybody how you roll over. Let's show them how you roll over. Can you do it? Do you think you can do it again? Let's see. Can you do it? Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Very good. Roll over. Yeah, roll over. All the way. You did halfway. Is that just comfy right there? You're so smiling. Is it comfy? Here, I'll help you. So you get the idea. Woo! Okay, try again. Back over. Yes, I'll give you a little bit of help. Woo! She's done it by herself really pretty consistently for maybe two weeks now. Maybe a week, week or two, I don't know. Every once in a while, like now, she's having a, a little bit of a hard go. But you're pretty good at it. You're getting pretty good. And she loves tummy time so much more than Micah ever did. Micah always would cry or fall asleep. She will actually like sit there and play a little bit and look at me and interact and and it's fun doing tummy time with you because Micah was different. Micah did tummy time differently than you. So this is fun for me. Fun for me. Boo. She is like so eager to just roll over today. You don't even want to be on your tummy? Did I just jinx it? Here's a toy. This toy. Oh, spit up all over the couch. Okay. Now I get it. <laughs> Shoot. This is the bigger slide that you didn't go down when you were a little girl. You guys ever see that video of that kid that goes careening down one of these? And he hits the mid bump and he goes air flying? No. I feel like this is what's going to happen. That is pretty intense. I didn't want her to go down by herself. She is counting you down, Dad. Woo! Bumpy. Is that fun? Again? This park is a little bit too big, kid, for you. Yeah, we a didn't little bit too big. It, it was it easier when like she was a baby. It looks like it would be just fine for her, but there are like no, that's there's like, a lot of technical stuff in here. Yeah, there is a little bit too much. And I'm not kidding. As soon as we stepped out of the car, like the hair, the air felt a little bit heavy. I think it's the smoke. I don't know if you can see. It's beautiful for one, but the smoke I think from California is getting over here and making the air really, really smoky looking. And Aunt Amber over here with Miss Paige. You don't miss Paige, Paige. Squish, 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 squish. Yeah. You want to give him a big old smile? Oh, I'm, I'm like walking away going to check on Micah. Going down the stairs all by yourself. Good job, good job. You're practicing, practicing your balance. Yeah, I know I can't be the only one. I like, I try not to be a hovering parent, but I just, I do worry sometimes. Like she's never had a big fall or anything. So I try to let her do her thing and learn and, and but, I, I, but I also like, I don't wanna let her hurt herself. It's a, it's a hard balance to like know when to step in and when to let her learn and grow on her own. Yeah. It's so tough, so tough. So, day two. Um, we just spent the evening hanging out with Amber. We were actually up till like midnight. 12.30. Two, tw really, 12.30? Mm -hmm. Yeah, too late Almost for one. me, especially after I was just talking about I need more sleep, so. Hey, but I did it's tell like, you at 11.30. He did, he reminded me, he's like, it's 11.30. I don't want to be the one to bust up the party, but you, you should be getting to sleep before too long. And I was like, yeah, I know, but I'm having so much fun catching up with Amber. And, but we, we called it a night before for too much longer. And uh, it was a good night, good evening. We actually went out on the deck and really thoroughly enjoyed 
the weather aspect of it. It yeah. was kind of chilly and cold. And Austin even put on the heater out there. So it was like oh, it was a so little perfect. glimpse into fall. And mm. I think tomorrow is actually supposed to be like 61 degrees. Is the high. Which is nuts. So a 30 degree drop in one day. That is insane. But um, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but we just, we forgot to sign out last night. So we thought we'd hop on. This morning, just kind of say goodbye to you guys and, and our typical, like, thanks for watching, you know. Truly, though, like, we do appreciate it. And uh, we hope you guys enjoyed the vlog seeing Guess. Micah, like, a year ago. It was. It was, it was, it was a was, year ago. It was almost a year ago to the day. Yeah. That's nuts. Guess what, though? What? Jess is going to be working on the birth video this yes, week. So I we're finally going to get it up, even yeah. after... After three, all the trouble almost that we four had. months yeah but um so stay tuned for that it's coming and uh we'll let you know like when it gets closer i'm hoping maybe within like a week or so maybe within a week we'll see that's what okay. i need to work on this morning is what i meant to work on but if she's too tired she's gonna go take a nap we'll see yeah but hope and you guys enjoyed oh my gosh what sorry else? and our merch should be we should be getting our first rough drafts or like our first revisions back this week. Yay! That's exciting. Dude, that's you didn't super even know that. Exciting. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's awesome. Cool. All right. Well, lots of things to look forward to, you guys, and we will see you next time. Bye, Bye. friends.